Hey what is up guys, welcome back to another Minecraft Java video. Today I'm going to do an FPS comparison and I'm going to compare Optifine versus Iris and Sodium and this is going to be on the latest release of Minecraft which is Minecraft Java Edition version 1.18.1 and I'm going to take a look at Optifine for 1.18.1 I'm also going to look at Iris shaders and Sodium for version 1.18.1. For those of you who don't know, Optifine is a shaders mod and it also does have performance performance capabilities and we're going to look at iris shaders which is also a shaders mod and it also comes bundled with sodium if you do get the iris installer and sodium is also a performance mod so i'm going to do a comparison between the two so i'm going to compare optifine versus iris and sodium i did do a similar comparison in my previous video where i compared optifine with iris shaders and sodium however i had set all of my settings to the lowest possible settings and i tweaked them and optimized them but some of you weren't happy with that you wanted me to do a stress test so that's what i'm going to do today i'm basically going to increase all of my settings to the maximum and i'm going to see what kind of fps i can get with optifine what kind of fps i can get with iris and sodium and also what kind of fps i am getting on the vanilla game so as you guys can see i do have the latest release here which is version 1.18.1 I also have Optifine installed for 1.18.1. This is the Optifine HD U H4 version. I also have Iris and Sodium for 1.18.1. And this is the latest version of Iris that comes bundled with Sodium and it uses Fabric version 0.12.12 and it's for 1.18.1. So I'm going to run the vanilla game now, which I've got open at the moment. I'm then going to run Optifine and then I'm going to run Iris and Sodium as well. I'm also going to use Optifine and Iris shaders to apply a set of shaders as well. So we're going to have a look at the FPS with shaders as well. And we're going to see the FPS without shaders. So let's go back into this game. Let's actually maximize this window. And let me go into my options and click on video settings. And as you guys can see, I have actually turned everything to the max here. So I've put the biome blend to the maximum. I've put the render distance to the maximum. So as you guys can see, this is the highest possible setting, which is 32. Now Optifine does allow us to go past this, but we are going to be using 32 chunks for all three comparisons. I've also set the graphics to fancy and I've changed everything to the maximum so as you guys can see entity distance has been set to 500 percent and all of these other sliders have been pushed to the right hand side so everything should be on the maximum possible setting that i can set in the game the distortion effects and fov effects are also on 100 percent so let's go back into the game and let me go into first person view we're going to use this scenario for our testing today and i'm going to apply this scenario to all of the tests that i am going to do today so as you guys can see i am getting close to 60 fps and i am going to pick the maximum fps that i am seeing on the fps counter on the right hand side there if you look at the top right on my screen i do have a fps counter and whatever the maximum value is that i can see on there i'm going to use that to define the end result so as you guys can see it is actually going up to 64 fps there so let's actually take 60 fps because it is actually going below 60 as well so i'm going to pick 60 fps there so using the maximum possible settings in my video settings i am getting 60 fps in my game and this is the vanilla game so let's go ahead and now take a look at optifine and how much fps i can get with optifine for minecraft java edition version 1.18.1 Alright, so we are now running Optifine for version 1.18.1. Let me go ahead and maximize this. So as you guys can see on the bottom left here, it does say Minecraft 1.18.1 modded. If I go to options, click on video settings, it does actually say Optifine HD H4 Ultra at the bottom left here. And it should actually maintain all of my settings from the default game. So it should show the render distance of 32. So as you guys can see with Optifine, we can actually go as far as 48. But to keep this comparison fair, we are going to set that to 32. So it is the same across all of the different scenarios all of the other settings i'm not going to change so if we go to details these are all the default settings and if i go to animations all of the animations are turned on i have actually gone ahead and turned the connected textures and custom sky to off because that is what we would expect with the iris and sodium combination but all of the other stuff is actually set to the maximum there and the same for the other option as well some of the performance based options are enabled here as well such as fast render fast math and smart animations I'm 
I'm not going to use render regions for this comparison because that is actually not recommended for integrated graphics cards. So that is a completely different setting that we can talk about in a future video. But for now, we are going to use these settings. So let's go back inside our game. All right, so we are now inside the game and this is using Optifine and I haven't actually got any shaders enabled. So if I go into my options, click on video settings, click on shaders, you can see that I have actually got the shaders turned to off there. So let's take a look at the maximum FPS I can see on the, this scenario. Now it does take a while for all of these tongues to load in the background but once you do wait a while it does actually load them and everything is still and hopefully we're not going to see any NPCs or animals moving around underwater as well or on the land and if I was in a village obviously my FPS would tank a lot but on this scene we can see that the maximum FPS that I am able to right now see is a 135. So we can go ahead and make a note of that for Optifine that using the the maximum settings and using Optifine's default options on the maximum game video settings we are able to get a steady 135 FPS in our game. Now let's go ahead and actually enable some shaders. Let's go to video settings, click on shaders. The first set of shaders I am going to enable is the complementary shaders. This is a nice shader pack that actually works across Optifine and Iris shaders. So it does actually work quite well with both of these mods. So let's go back inside our game and let's see what kind of FPS we can get. Obviously, you guys can see that we have some shaders installed here. You can tell by the nice reflection on the eyes there. And we've got the nice moving clouds there in the background. So as you guys can see, the maximum FPS that I am able to actually see on the top right corner there of my screen is 75 FPS. I think it did actually go up to 78 there. But for now, let's just say 75 FPS is what I am getting with the complementary shaders. All right, so let's go ahead and have a look at the other set of shaders now, which is Silda's Enhanced Default Shader. So these are shaders that are quite good for lower to medium end PCs. So let's go ahead and click on this and click on done. And let's see what kind of FPS we can get with these shaders in our game. So as you guys can see, the game actually looks completely different. It's got a more of a vanilla type look there. However, we are able to get close to 90 FPS. As you guys can see on the top right corner there, we are able to get 90 FPS by using these shaders with Optifine on the maximum settings. And I'm going to run the same comparison now with Iris shaders and Sodium. So we're going to run Iris and Sodium with the default settings on the maximum video settings. I'm then going to run complementary shaders and then I'm going to run Silda's enhanced default shaders as well. So then we can see how they both compare with each other. So let me exit out of this and let me go ahead and open up Iris and Sodium for 1.18.1. All right, so the game is now opened up. And as you guys can see, I am now running Iris and Sodium for version 1.18.1. And this is basically Iris shaders and Sodium combined into two. And at the bottom left here, does say Minecraft 1.18.1 slash fabric and modded in the brackets there. If we click on options and then if we go to video settings, you can see that everything looks slightly different to the normal vanilla type game and layout. This is what actually Sodium looks like. So as you guys can see, this layout layout is actually to do with sodium so in our general section you can see that everything has been set to 32 there in the quality everything is on the maximum setting that i could have chosen in the performance everything has been ticked by default and the advanced everything has been left as the default settings i haven't actually changed anything for this if we go into the shader packs we can see that shaders have been disabled so now we can actually go inside our game and we can have a look at what kind of fps we can get in the game by using iris shaders and sodium on the maximum video setting so let's go and click into this world all right so we have waited for all of the chunks and everything else to load up and as you guys can see i am now seeing a constant 280 maximum average there on the top right corner of my screen and i am using the iris and sodium combination so as you guys can see this is the sodium settings that are kicking in and everything is set to maximum and we are getting some better fps than what we were seeing with the optifine settings so it is actually touching close to 300 fps but let's go ahead and say that we are getting 280 fps there on average because it is actually touching 290 and it is actually dipping below that as well so let's say that we are able to get 280 fps on the normal settings for iris and sodium but using the maximum video settings so let's now go ahead and enable some shaders as well so let's go into shader packs and enable the complementary shaders 
and click on done and now let's wait for these chunks to fully load there and let's see what kind of fps we can get let me just change the time to day as well so then we have a better and closer comparison to how it did look before so as you guys can see i am getting now a constant fps there of 124 and all of the chunks should have loaded up by now everything should have rendered now and everything should be the same i am not moving around and i'm just looking straight ahead so i am able to see close to 122 to 124 fps so let's go ahead and say that we are getting 122 fps with complementary shaders using iris shaders and sodium let me go ahead and select the other shader as well so this is silder's enhanced default shaders version 1.13 and let's see what kind of fps we can get with this shader pack we do have to wait a while for everything to load up but as you guys can see i am now touching 200 fps so slightly better than what i was seeing with the optifine results there as you guys can see so with iris shaders and sodium we are able to touch the 200 fps mark there just by using the silders enhanced default shader there and we are on the maximum settings obviously the max shadow distance is being controlled by the shader pack itself but everything else has been set to the maximum as you guys can see over here so let's go back inside and this is the kind of fps that we can expect with the iris shaders for minecraft java edition version 1.18.1 so hopefully you guys have enjoyed this fps comparison of optifine versus iris shaders and sodium for 1.18.1 and you guys can see that on my pc i am able to get slightly better fps when i am using iris shaders and sodium compared to when i am using optifine now for some of you optifine might actually perform better you might get worse results by using iris shaders and sodium it is quite dependent on what kind of hardware you are using in your pc so do let me know in the comment section below what kind of fps you guys are getting with using both of these if you guys have tested them what kind of fps do you guys get normally in your game and which one performs better for you do you get better fps with optifine or do you actually get better fps with iris shaders and sodium installed if you guys did like the video please do give us a like and also please do subscribe to the channel to help support it help it grow and i'll see you guys next time thank you for watching